Hey guys, it's Meg. I am back this week with a new tarot reading for you. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different in that I am trying something very new for me. Um, what I mean by that is normally I'll use one deck per reading kind of thing. Um, but, you know, if I want to draw a bonus card, maybe I'll pull another card out of a deck that I didn't use in the video. It's going to be a little bit different um, in that I've decided to use two different decks as kind of companion cards so we could have companion cards for this reading and I'm excited to share what comes up with you but before I do um, if you guys like what you see in the video go ahead and click the like subscribe and the bell buttons so you guys can stay in the loop for when I post new content like this. I also do vlog style videos, so if you want to see more from me there, go ahead and check those out. Um, I have also included links to my social media and my website, so if you guys want to keep in touch with me through those avenues, you can. Um, I am currently offering commissions, which I have nine slots available, so um, the link is through my website, so go ahead and check that out. And also, last thing I promise, I also have art prints available if you guys would like to see what that's all about. Again, it's all going to be done through my website, so please go check that out if you're interested. We'll link in the description below. So, to finally, finally get started with the reading, um, not quite though because I want to credit the decks. The decks I'm going to be using for this reading for yeah, for this reading are the Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy and the L Key Oracle by Melanie Delon and Arwen Poe. Um, it's right there. Hopefully you can read it. Um, but they will be credited in the description, so you'll have a clearer vision of that. So let's get into the reading. I've already pre-shuffled my cards, so, you know, we're not going to go through that. There's two decks. It's going to make this video very long. So the first card from the Spirit Song Tarot I'm going to be drawing is Awakening. And uh, this represents the ideas of renewal and enlightenment and um, perhaps you've come from a situation that has really taken a lot out of you um, and you needed to step back and rest a little bit. Um, this card is going to help you see what's coming next for you and maybe um, Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, I don't know, I can't answer those questions just yet, but um, you're, you're new and you're going to be able to get through whatever situation is coming next. So that is the card for Awakening. And the companion card that I want to draw for this is uh, Taraz. Taraz, Taraz, we're going to go long A, um, and her line, her byline is she who is present, and she represents the idea of being in the now, of being aware and accepting what you're coming into. So I think these are working together and saying that um, there's a period where you've had to struggle and a period where you've had to step back and rest and um, you are coming new but it's also best to be aware and be in the now and accept that you changed that's what i'm getting from it hopefully it resonates so yeah there's the first part of that meeting um, the second card that I'm going to pull from the Spirit Song is the Ace of Shells. And here this represents, um, well, it's a start. It's, it's an emotional. So the shells in this deck are represented 
as cups. So a lot of this is um, associated with water and water is associated with emotions. Therefore, the ace of shells or cups is a representation of a person's happiness and a person's uh, ability to be giving and abundant. So um, again, we talked about the idea in uh, the card for awakening that we're coming new. And with the uh, Oracle card, we talked about being in the now and being aware of when you're changing. I think what this is saying is that whatever struggle is it is past and you are now happy but you've had to really um you've had to maintain the awareness of that so that is the ace of shells the companion card that i am going to draw is um oh, well okay um this is a clot i don't know if i'm saying this correctly or not but um, her byline is she who regrets and um, you can see that you know this represents things like battle and um, you've overcome that battle but now there might be a bitter taste in your mouth there might be some things that you're not very happy with after the fact you've won what you've set out to win to win let's try that again um, and they, you might have a lingering sense of this isn't how I thought it was going to be, even though you are abundant, even though you are happy. Um, it's like this has come at a cost that I, I didn't expect. And so I think um, that's where the sense of regret comes in for that situation because you fought and you fought and you fought and you you may have gained a lot of ground in your journey but maybe you're regretting what you lost even though maybe that energy and those things weren't serving you there's still some sense of like ugh, you know this sucks um but letting it go might be the next step so there is the ace of shells and she who regrets so the next card I'm going to pull is the Traveler. And this is, you'll notice that it is uh, zero in this deck. So this is the thematic stand in for the Fool. And like with the Fool in the standard deck, it represents beginnings and adventure and potentials. And, um, you know, we talked about um, renewal and awareness and all of that stuff in the past two cards. This is, I feel, the way, um, now that we've, now that we've come through all of those struggles that I talked about with the other two, other four cards, actually, um, we're seeing the potential of this new adventure and we can better accept the fact that, okay, I've lost what doesn't serve me. This is now a good thing. I don't regret this anymore. I can be truly happy. I can stay in the now and I can, I can be very happy that I'm renewed and enlightened because of my situation. Um, so, there is that sense of adventure, there is that sense of potential, and um, this is energy that I think we can hold on to for a while, because now that we don't have, we're making space for what's truly going to serve us. So that is the Traveler. The companion card that I want to draw for this is Saint Shiala. She who creates. Um, there's her, her name and her byline. Um, now she is representative of the idea of creativity and originality and the idea of being spontaneous. I 
fucking love this because in other decks, the fool is represented as um, being spontaneous and new. And the fact that I, these cards came up together is very cool to me um, because we're seeing the potential of creative pursuits. We're seeing the potential of sharing originality and letting energies like that just be in the world without having to explain or apologize for it. And that's, that's cool. I like this combo. That's cool. So that is the Traveler, like I said, and Shiala, who is represented in creativity, originality, and spontaneity. So the next card that I want to draw will be the Two of Acorns. And this is representing the ideas of focusing and insights and what you can gain from observing the world around you from being um, not necessarily being in your own head because you will miss a lot of stuff if you just close your thoughts um, but it's the idea of um, focusing your energies on I guess things that matter to you um, so if you want to continue your adventures like we talked about with the traveler and, and continue being creative and spontaneous and original okay that's great now let's focus that energy so it's not chaotic and just all over the place um the insight aspect i think comes from the idea that you're looking around you and and observing observing being observant of the world as you see it so that is the two of acorns i should also say that acorns in the spirit song deck are a stand-in for wands and therefore fire so um we are seeing the little spark of something coming up and um it's starting small it's not very big yet but if, if we like i said we focus our energy and not let it get chaotic um, there will be insights and there will be um, there will be something good on the horizon if we can do this for ourselves. So that is the two of acorns. The companion card that I'm going to draw is Perpetua um, and her her byline is she who aches. So here um, unfortunately maybe not. Um, here she represents the ideas of solitude and withdrawal and being silent. Now we talked about focusing our energy and I think the way um, we need to do this sometimes is to take a step back and not be so hung up on what society wants for us or what um, yeah, what society wants for us, what other people expect of us. Um, sometimes the things we really want to say to people aren't the best. Um, and this is, um, you know, what I said about being silent. Um, sometimes when we're looking at other people, we do have to pick the battles we want to fight. And sometimes being silent is the best option in this situation so um like i said about the insights with the two of acorns um if we don't speak if we don't let our brains tell us what our brains are going to tell us maybe that way we can um you know we can gain insights by not saying anything at all even if we badly badly want to um, and maybe that's going to cause us sadness, but if we take that and focus on what we know to be true of ourselves, we will be okay and we will do what we need to do at 
at the end of the day. So it's a two of acorns and their companion card, Perpetua. <sighs> what a reading, right? Um, <laughs> this last card I'm going to pull is the six of acorns. Again, six of wands. Um, here we see the idea of success and triumph. And after all of what we've been through in the past cards, um, you know, we, we're talking about um, coming through struggles and, and being withdrawn from society until we have our insights and how to focus our energies. This is representing the success of our endeavors in doing that and how we've triumphed over what we've struggled with. Um, you know, in past readings that I've done with other decks, it talks about how the Five of Wands is chaotic and a little bit scary because, you know, because wands, in this case, acorns are representing fire and things like that, the five can be very um, chaotic and out of control. With this, we've taken, I feel like we've taken back the control and we've, you know, we've nurtured that flame, that passion into something that we can use to achieve our goals, to triumph over our struggles. And I think that is, um, that's powerful. You know, we have a powerful energy in the Six of Acorns and the Six of Wands. So um, even though we might be scared out of our skins, at least we know we have the ability to bring ourselves back to what our center might look like for each of us. And this, I say it like that because, you know, our, everybody's different. Everybody's gonna everybody's gonna channel their energy differently. So that is the six of acorns. And the final companion card that I want to draw for this reading is Colette. Her line is she who nurtures. And she is representative of the ideas of empathy and insights and being gentle with ourselves. So I talked about in the Five of Wands how uh, sometimes our passions can get out of control and just rage and rage and we don't feel like we can get ourselves back to normal. The way I feel we can do this is um, treating ourselves gently and through that, we can gain insights like, oh, wow, this is very big. I'm scared of this, but what can I look into with this? That, what is there to gain some insights on here? What can I use to help myself learn about this? Like I said, with the fives, or at least the six, is about succeeding and triumphing over what scares us. At least to my, to my interpretation of this card. If we treat ourselves gently and with some sense of empathy, then I think we can hold on to that success. We can share our abundance, like I mentioned in the Ace of Shells. And, you know, maybe the struggle is that we've, um, we've paid a price that was higher than we thought for something we thought we needed. It's, you know, yes, it might hurt to know that, but it won't last forever. And that's what I think um, this card is saying about being empathetic and gentle with our, our own spirits. So that is the reading for this week, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you've made it this far, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, again, if you like what you saw in the video, please go ahead and do all of the things. I love you guys. Go ahead and check out my website and my art and everything else. Links in the description below. I will be back next week with a new reading, guys, and I will see you then.
Love you all. Bye.